Hello everyone. Welcome to IIT Frontier. My name is Hari Kapna. In this video, we'll talk about how to use Wokvi to simulate Arduino Uno and create IoT projects with it. We'll look into an example of the HD22 sensor and how to add libraries in Wokvi to make it work. Stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. Before we get started with today's video, this is to let you guys know that in the previous video we have looked into Wokvi, how Wokvi works, and we have seen a couple of examples to simulate ESP32 in Wokvi. If you haven't watched it yet, then please click on the top right corner to watch it now. So first, we need to log in to the Wokvi.com, and here we'll be seeing various development boards. The first we'll right now we'll be choosing Arduino. So inside Arduino, if you scroll down, you'll be seeing start from scratch so here you can choose arduino you know so in this example we'll be talking about how to use dhd22 sensor and we'll also see how to use uh, libraries in this mock week because dhd22 we are going to use some libraries so first let's try to connect the sensor so we'll have to search for dhd22 and if you click it will be done Now we'll try to add the code. Let's take the code here. So this is the standard DHT code that we write. Here just we have to put the values, whatever is used here. A GPIO pin of 7 is being used. That's why DHT pin is here. And the type of DHT type uh, will be having DHT 11 or 22. So right now we are using 22 here. And we have initialized that. And we create some variables like humidity and temperature. And in the setup, we'll be having DHT begin and serial begin to start this uh, communication between serial as well as DHT sensor. And next we have loop. So in the loop, we'll be having this uh, DHT.read humidity, DHT.read temperature, and we are going to print that into the console. So before this, if you try to run here, it will say error because you'll, you'll not be having a library called DHT.h that we have included. So for that, what you can do is you can go to library manager here and search for DHT library. DHT sensor library. So we have to click on the second one. And if you want to create your own library, you can even upload a library. So if there is not, not available in the search, you can do that. And once you have done that, you can try to run this. So immediately you can see the values, humidity value is right now 40 and temperature 24. If you want to change that, you can click on this temperature sensor and you will be seeing this changeable values. So if I put as 48.8, immediately you can see 48.8 and humidity also after 10 seconds, it will be coming here. That is 74.5. So this is how you can change the temperature and humidity and simulation value can be seen here as well. So this is how simple you can use Wokvi for your Arduino you know, projects.